El Clásico is one of the most viewed and arguably the biggest league fixtures in football. But it was not always like this. With two groups of fans from disparate places, this game has withstood a bloody civil war and a fascist regime. In this video, let's dive into 10 hidden things you didn't know about El Clásico. There will be no better way to start this with the origin of El Clásico. El Clásico is a Spanish term which simply means the classic. It is the name given to any football match between rival clubs, Barcelona and Real Madrid. The phrase today refers to every game between the clubs, although it originally only applied to events held in the Spanish Championship. The fixture carries a large-scale political implication, which is a story for another day. The first El Clásico match was held on 13th May 1902 at the old horse racing track in Madrid. Barcelona defeated Real Madrid 3-1 in the semi-finals of the 1902 Copa de la Coronación Football competition in honor of the coronation of Alfonso XIII of Spain. Udo Steinberg, a German Barcelona forward, scored the first goal of the match, making him the first goal scorer of El Clásico. 2. First El Clásico hat-trick 23 players have scored a hat-trick in an official El Clásico match, but shockingly Cristiano Ronaldo is missing from the list. Santiago Bernabéu scored the first El Clásico hat-trick when Real Madrid thrashed Barcelona 4-1 in the 1916 Copa del Rey on 2nd April. Only four players have scored more than one hat-trick in an official El Clásico match, Santiago Bernabéu, Ferenc Puskas, Jamin Lascano, Lionel, Messi. 3. Most red and yellow-carded footballer in El Clásico history Guess the player with the most red cards in the comment section Please subscribe, like and share. El Clasico is a fierce fixture as both teams have high tensions between them. Real Madrid's former captain and defender Sergio Ramos has accumulated the most red cards in El Clasico, which is not shocking. But let me blow your brains. Sergio Ramos has also received the most yellow cards in El Clasico, a reflection of his no-nonsense physical approach. Ramos has received a staggering 22 yellow cards and 5 red cards to be precise. 4. The youngest and oldest El Clásico scorer This El Clásico record has been in existence for 76 years. Many young players have scored in El Clásico during recent years. Ansu Fati came close to breaking the record, but surpassed the record holder with only 3 days, which was heartbreaking. Former Barcelona and Real Madrid striker Alfonso Navarro is still the youngest player to score in the El Clásico. He scored a brace against Real Madrid on 30th March 1947, when he was just 17 years and 356 days old. Alfredo Di Stefano is the oldest ever goalscorer in Clásico history. He was 37 years and 164 days old when he scored on 15 December 1963. Type Most goals and assists in El Clásico over 849 goals have been scored in official El Clásico fixtures, which is a huge number. Former Barcelona captain Lionel Messi has scored 26 goals in Clásico, making him the all-time top scorer of the famous rivalry. Lionel Messi also holds the record for most assists with 16 total assists in the Clásico. He has also scored the most penalties and free kicks in El Clásico history. This remarkable achievement showcases the brilliance and dominance of Lionel Messi during his time in the Spanish league and the football world. 6. Most appearances in El Clásico Many football legends have graced this rivalry over the years, but former Barcelona midfielder Sergio Busquets has played the most games in El Clásico. He made a total of 48 appearances for Barcelona, showcasing his prowess as a formidable midfielder. 7. Goalkeeper with the most clean sheets It is not an easy task not to concede goals in El Clásico, but some goalkeepers have shown great goalkeeping skills to secure their posts during El Clásico games. The former Barcelona shot stopper Victor Valdés kept a total of seven clean sheets between 2002 and 2014, which is the highest clean sheet record held by a goalkeeper in the Clásico. This number is very low and exhibits the intense nature of El Clásico. 8. Club and footballer the most El Clásico wins A total of 254 official El Clásico fixtures have been held, 
This number does not include friendly and exhibition fixtures. Real Madrid has secured a total of 102 wins as compared to Barcelona's 100 wins. A total of 52 draws have happened in El Clasico, crowning Real Madrid as the club with the most wins. But the footballer with the most El Clasico wins is a former Barcelona player, which is shocking. Sergio Basquez won a total of 23 matches, which is the highest in El Clasico's history, while Sergio Ramos has lost a total of 20 matches in the El Clasico, which is the highest by any player. 9. Manager with the most appearances and wins in El Clasico Miguel Munoz is the most successful manager in the history of El Clasico. He made a total of 36 appearances with an impressive 16 wins. He holds the record for the most wins and appearances made by a manager in the history of El Clasico. Miguel Monoz coached Real Madrid from 1960 to 1974 and oversaw one of the most dominant periods in the club's history. Under his leadership, Real Madrid won nine La Liga titles, two European Cups and an Intercontinental Cup. Munoz's tactical acumen and ability to motivate his players made him a formidable opponent in El Clasico matches. 10. The most common El Clasico result Throughout the history of El Clasico, many results have been accumulated, but one surprising result has popped up over the years. The 2-1 scoreline has been resulted 46 times in El Clasico, making it the most common result while 1-1 one, one is the most common draw result, occurring 25 times. Comment which team is favourite to win the next El Clasico fixture. Please subscribe, like and share for more football stories and updates on infomals. Click on the next video above for more football content.